Hey guys, before this video starts, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to Doru for suggesting this video. So yeah, if you want to shout out on one of our videos, then make sure you uh, leave video suggestions in the comment section down below, and I'll give you a shout out on that video. So yeah, thank you very much Doru for suggesting this video, so let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Hitting Game here, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make um, a tool which plays music. So, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to insert tool inside a starter pack. You don't need to put it in starter pack, you can put it anywhere in the world, anywhere in your game, if you want place to pick it up. But if you want place to actually spawn in with it, place it in a starter pack. Give your tool a name, um, but I'm just going to keep a tool because I'm not going to keep this. Um, insert a local script and insert a sound. You don't need to insert. Um, you don't need to insert a part because if you, if you don't want place to hold anything, you just want it to play a sound when you equip it. Um, so what you're going to need to do is in the tool. You can um, give it a tool tip if you like, give it, a, give it an image. But you're going to have to turn off requires handle. If you if you keep that on, the tool's not going to work unless there's a, a part in here named handle. So the only time you'll have a handle in your tool is if, you'll want, if you want your place to actually hold something. But in this case, I don't want the place to hold anything I just want place to be able to equip the tool and uh, but they're not holding anything it's just playing some music so this um, few lines of code is very simple it's only a few lines like one two three four five like nine lines of code honestly it's so simple so I don't even need to do a time lapse for this video I'm just gonna get it done so quickly so we're gonna make we're gonna need to make a variable for the tool just to make it quick after us. So local tool equals script dot parent. And now we're gonna make a variable to the sound, which is local sound equals to tool call away for child sound. Or the name of your sound object inside of your tool. Um, the reason we're using wait for child is because when I tested this before it's recorded, I tested everything before I record, um, the sound hadn't actually loaded in yet. And so it's causing an error in the output. So, just put tool column with for child sound. Make sure that you get the capitalization correct, as it's very important as it's case sensitive in Roblox Studio. Alright, so let's uh, let's uh, carry on. Alright, so now we're going to make it so that the sound plays when you equip your tool. So we're going to say tool dot equipped colon connect function and we don't we don't need any parameters so we can just drop a line then it enter the closing rocket should appear and then just the sound call on resume um if you uh, put sound call on play it's gonna start the sound from the beginning every time you equip your tool so you can have that if you like um but if you want it so that if you're uh, if you unequip your tool then equip it again you want it to stay you want it to carry on the song from where it left off so if you want it to start again when you equip it to say call on play but if you want it to uh, continue playing from where it last from where you left off when you unequipped it to say resume like this and that's all we need to do actually this almost forgot we need this tool dot uh, unequipped unequipped Call on connect function. So this is going to be run when um, we unequip the tool. Sound call on pause or sound call on stop. Um, but if you want it to carry on, uh, you need to say pause. But if you want it to start again, say stop. Alright, so let's head into the game and test this out. Okay guys, I did forget something. 
I did forget something. How stupid could I be? You need to set the sound ID in this box down here. So to get the sound ID, you need to go into the toolbox. And this is my sound that I used before. So, um, click on this. And then click on audio. And then search the sound that you want. I'm just going to get like a, a non-copyrighted music. This is the one, this is the sound that I use in my videos quite a lot. GDD Adventure. So I'm just going to grab any of these, it doesn't matter. And then once you've got your sound ID, actually I'm going to show you how to get it. So, once you've found it, you can preview it here by clicking the play. Yep. And then right click it, and then say copy asset URL. Then go down to sound ID, and then press Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac. And then click enter, and then should be a sound, so preview it, so that's what the sound sounds like. So now let's head into the game and test this out. I am in the game now, so let's equip this tool and see if the sound plays. Yep, the sound's playing, and then uh, when I unequip it, it's going to stop playing, and when I equip it again, it's going to continue from where I left off. You can of course make it so that you can um, start again by changing this to play and this to stop. So yeah, this is going to be it for today's video. So if you learned something from this video and you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe and turn the bell so then you'll be notified when that video comes out. So also remember leave video suggestions in the comment section down below for some more of our videos like the person who did it at the start of this video. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.